everything said in this video is um is said because I care and I want this game to do well. And that's pretty much it. So let's get into it. This is Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. This is it, Satan. For the sake of our most glorious project, you will die today! Dragon Ball Legends. I've been playing this game for a long time now. It's, um, I think nearly 550 days, as you can see here. So, pretty much a year and a half at this point. And when I started playing, I was having a lot of fun, and I've always had fun on this game. It's been, you know, one of the reasons why I've kept on playing for over 500 days. Um, but recently, it's just going downhill and it doesn't look like it's going to come back up and I don't know why they've let it get to this point but it's just it's so bad right now it's just I don't understand how they've let it get this bad um, and it all started pretty much when Kefler and Gotenks released obviously there was problems in the game before that but no one knew what was going to hit us after they released because they changed the game and what came after them completely changed the game um, and we're still feeling the effects now and we're going to for a long time um, because Kefler might be the most toxic unit they've ever released maybe alongside Vegito Blue because Vegito is he's in a league of his own I mean it's not right that in you know two years into this game there's only I'd say three really viable teams like if you're not a top top player you're really gonna struggle if you're not using future um, fusions uh, like I said future or god key right now and um, <laughs> yeah if you're not using one of these teams obviously there's other teams there's Vegeta family there's GT um, but the main three teams are these ones, and why? Because of Vegito Blue and Fusions right now is the best team, and will carry on being the best team until some big units come out. Because of this woman right here, and um, it is, I just don't understand why they've focused so much on this team, and they've given this team so much support. Um, it's just, uh, it's incredible, and right now. If you want easy wins, you're just going to use this team. It's as simple as that. But that's not even the start of the problems with this game. And uh, I'm going to try and stay calm. Because I, I really do get um, kind of, you know, up and caught up in my emotions. Because it just, it, it really does annoy me. And, and, and seeing this game do badly is just, um, it's not very nice for me. But as you can see, those are the three teams that are really viable right now and if you're not using them you're going to struggle a lot and when I say a lot I mean a lot so when they released Kepler and Gotenks the game was you know we were all starting to get hyped for the anniversary we were all happy with how the game was right, right around then because it was a normal time we're not expecting anything but then after that you know you had Goku Day <laughs> maybe one of the most disappointing celebrations I've ever seen in my life. We didn't get a new banner. We didn't get anything. All we got was some Goku everyday tickets for that stupid banner that they've got. That you know you get a hundred Z power for Sparkings. Absolute. I'm not even going to swear. Just, just terrible. Absolutely terrible. It's just, just um, yeah. It's hard to put into words how bad Goku Day was. And not just that. We didn't get any new content and I mean nothing during the whole month of May do you understand how bad that is the whole month of May we didn't get one new bit of content the only thing we could do to get crystals was do the ultra space time rush which re resets every two weeks and I've said this before and PvP they might have released maybe one chapter of story during that time, but that's about it. And if you've got the story completed and you've got the events completed, you you can't do anything in the game other than PvP. 
and in the state that PvP is in, where there's only three viable teams, it isn't fun. I, I just don't see the fun in it. It isn't fun at all. All you're doing is playing the same three teams over and over and over and over and over and over again, and it gets boring. It really does get boring because it's just rising rushes after 10 counts and I'm not even going to go into the state of PvP in this video. That's another topic for another day and I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i make a video on that if you guys want uh, want it. Um, just you know, let me know in the comments if you do want a video just talking about the issues with PvP. And you might say, oh but you've got a 14 star Zamasu and a 9 star Trunks and a 6 star Vegito Blue, why are you complaining? <laughs> I went into this anniversary with over 25,000 crystals that I had saved up and uh, and there's been a few events where we've been able to farm crystals such as the uh, the Shenron event which is gone now but we did have a couple of, of these battle tower events and um, and yeah just a couple of silly events that we get all the time and also through PvP we had the double rewards stuff like that you do you know you get a bunch of crystals which is pretty easy to get at the end of the day but that's always going to be the case in every game you expect to have those things because if not what are you meant to do in the game nothing there's nothing to do but the thing that really bothers me with legends is that the events that they release they're all just events that you can play once and that's it and then all you can do is burn through your resources I'm lucky that I've got good equipment right now because I've farmed equipment during the 500 days I've played. I've been farming equipment non-stop and as you can see that's how I've got this box. But if it wasn't for, for the time that I put in before all these events released where all you can do is burn through your energy and skip tickets, I right now would have a terrible equipment box. The same as a lot of people do. Well you might think they're a good equipment box for you, you know, that's whatever, everyone's got different standards. but. The point I'm making is I right now, I finish this event, all I can do now is the two ones every day and that's it. And then if I want to just do anything in this event, all I can do is burn through my skip tickets. It's, it's boring, I don't want to have to do that, especially for the terrible rewards that you get farming these characters. It's just not worth it. Same thing with the armchair, you clear it once and then all you can do is burn through your energy and skip tickets. Before we had the Zenkai Trunks, which was a bit better because they, you know, they revamped the whole uh, the whole event. So we did get some crystal from there. But again, it's something that you just play once and you can't do again. You can't, you know, you can, you, you just run through your skip tickets and energy tickets, and it's boring. It really is boring because I want to play PVE. I want to have fun playing other things than PVP, which at the moment it isn't fun. It, it's just not fun at all. And the fact that we had a whole month without any content in the game nothing nothing new literally nothing for them to then release an anniversary <laughs> with the most lackluster events it, it's it's annoying to me because the, the events that got released during the anniversary were events that could have been released at any point during any month of any year in this game and you would have said yeah it fits in that kind of scenario but for an anniversary for them to release a, a PyCon battle tower an Omega Shenron battle tower you play them once it's boring it's the same fight 50 times that are very easy they're not challenging and to release just one challenge rush no special modes no guild update which is terrible there's nothing to do in the guilds you can't do anything and the rewards are absolutely awful I mean I'm I'm in a top 300 guild and I can't do anything like there's nothing to do I, I, I'm just there I might as well not be in one because there's nothing to do there and then we get on to let's say co-op which is you know a different game mode that they tried out and for me it's just awful the fact that the connection I don't. I, I just. I don't understand how how the connection on a on a mode so simple can be so trash. To do your three daily co-op runs, you basically, if you're lucky, you'll you'll do them in three in you know in three matches. Yesterday night, I I got to it was two a.m. and I was you know just sitting in bed and I was like oh, you know I need to do my co-op matches so I just jumped on Legends. I decided to do them. And I was sitting there until gone half past two in the morning trying to do three matches because of disconnections and all that kind of absolute, you know, trash that we get in co-op. 
it's either connection drops or people that don't run the right unit but just stupid stuff like that and then you get the people that rising rush with the shield up it's just non-stop just absolutely awful stuff in co-op it's horrible it's the most boring game mode I've ever played in my life because all you have to do is click a bunch of cards and that's it there's no skill there's nothing involved I want modes where I want to play them where I feel like I want to play this game right now the only mode that keeps me playing is PvP and like I said it is not fun it isn't fun at all the ultra space time rush you just put it on auto mode and you do it on your own it, it like well, you let it do itself on its own that's it that, <laughs> it's the most fun thing in the game for new players maybe because you know you're actually you know getting to actually play but if you've got a stacked out box and you've been playing this game for a while you could just put it on auto mode and do it you know by your, you know let it do it by itself and that's it and not have to worry about it it is an easy 500 crystals but it's yeah i mean i'm not saying change it but but come on i mean it's pretty bad let's be honest it's just boring and um and i i just want new modes i want a tournament mode in pvp which some of you guys might have seen on my instagram um i want maybe a practice mode on on pve stuff like that and i want i just want something where we can farm crystals not constantly but more frequently because I don't want to get 1,000 crystals from a battle tower every month and then just rely on ultra space time rush and um, and on you know PvP because you know what what if I don't want to play PvP one season then that's it I haven't got CC for two weeks it's literally like that um, so I just don't I just don't understand why they've done this like like they've made the game boring as hell. And um, I'm not the only one saying it, of course, everyone knows it, a lot of people have quit. And the only place I can farm crystals right now is from here, where you know, I've got quite a few and this is what I'm going to be doing over the next few days. As you can see, I'm just clearing through all of the story, just to get the, the you know, just scrape out the CC that I can, you know, get, because uh, that's the only thing we can do. Um, but I just don't understand, and I'm not even going to go into the anniversary, because I did talk about that, I just went over it a bit briefly, but I did talk about that. Um, in, a, in a different video so I will as well talk about about these banners right here this one and, and this one come on come, come on I mean if you if you're gonna release the two worst units in the game at least put good units on the banner they couldn't even do that they put this guy who is, isn't if he isn't Zenkai he's awful this guy who has to be getting a Zenkai because if not there's no point of him being here same thing with the Bardock this cell everyone's got at over six stars by now same with Golden Freezer this unit is terrible right now uh, Goku not very good you get the picture so yeah I mean the only unit on this banner that's worth summoning for is the 21 uh, and the two new units, if you want them, then fine. If not, they're just terrible, so whatever. <laughs> so I'm not even going to start to say how bad this banner is, because it's just uh, it's beyond me, to be honest. And then this banner right here, they released maybe two of the nicest looking units that they've ever released in the Goku and the Vegeta. And then you see, oh, wait, there's the Trunks on here. He's pretty good. And then you go down, and it's just trash, 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 trash 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 and more trash <laughs> it's terrible like literally if you don't pull the two units that you're going for you're gonna get shafted that's the way it is you can pull four sparkings in a multi summon you'll still get you'll still get shafted it's still gonna be a terrible multi because why do you want units that are over a year old that have no use in the meta that aren't ever gonna be useful again unless they're Zenkai why I just don't see the point and then don't even get me started on Zenkai because it's it's just terrible. Like honestly, the fact that now we have to spend crystals on a Zenkai unit is just stupid. It's honestly beyond me. Why don't they keep the missions? You can keep the missions and still have the the, the change to the banners. It just it makes no sense to me as to why they're um they're doing this change. But hey, it's it's just whatever. I mean, I'm never gonna Zenkai a unit again unless they're absolutely broken. But like these missions are gone, you can't do them, you can't get free to play Zenkai units anymore, which is just, 
it's like I said, it's beyond me. I just don't understand. And every month we get these monthly missions that are just boring. It's a couple of crystals here and there. But honestly, they're just forcing you to, to buy crystals right now. That's that's what it feels like. Because there's no events to do. There's nothing new. Give us new events of these so at least I can do something. Give us an event that I can play, you know, constantly and actually get something from it. Like, I, I don't want to have to just run skip tickets through an event. I want to be able to play. I want to be able to have fun with the game. And right now, the only thing I can do... <laughs> is play PvP, yet PvP is in the worst state it's ever been because of, you know, the lack of options there are to use, it's just boring, it's the same units over and over again that Rising Rush you in 10 counts and it's just, it's not fun. And I've never had problems getting into the top 10,000 and I never will, but I feel like I don't want to play. I've had friends that are literally not even logging in anymore because they just can't be bothered with the game. It's like they don't care. It, it really does feel like they don't care. Like this game's being run like a business. And the only place it's being run is into the fucking ground. Said I wasn't going to swear. It just, uh, it came out. So <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But yeah, it's, it's just, um, it's annoying. It's really annoying to see because I really care about this game. I love this game and I don't want it to do badly. Um, but it, it, it is. It just is. And, um... And I don't even, even if, I don't even know if I'm getting all the points I want to get across, um, you know, to you guys in this video. But you know, I'm just saying what's uh, what's popping into my head. But it is really, um, it is really annoying to see. And I do think um, we need change, big time. I'm not even going to get started with times three RP because that is just going to make me kick off and. Um, and rage so I'm not even going to talk about that but the fact that they've added times 2 RP and in a Vegito blue me uh, meta they've put four red units as the boost units for the season it's a piss take honestly it's just it's like they're laughing in our face and it's just it's not right it's just boring and it's just tiring to see this game being run like a business and just not caring about the players, which at the end of the day is a business, and they can run the game however the hell they want, but we care about the game, and right now, it's hard to see this game going anywhere, because there's nothing to do in it, it's dry, it's boring, it's dead, we can't farm crystals, and when we do, if we do summon on banners, and we don't pull the new units, which we've only got a 2% chance to do, we're going to get shafted. It's as simple as that, and it shouldn't be this way. So yeah, I'm not going to go into it anymore. That's uh, pretty much all I wanted to say. And uh, just let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, I'm sorry if this video went on for a while. I didn't intend it to go on for ages, but, you know, I just get a bit caught up in the way I feel and, you know, um, how pissed off I am at the game right now. Uh, so yeah, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, subscribe for more content. I'm, I promise it's not always like this. It's normally a lot happier and a lot um, a lot better. But we're just going through a very bad patch in the game. So yeah, if you're new, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all my um, latest videos. And I will catch you next time. Peace.